Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the Curly Hair Timber. My name is Curly Daisy and we're back with another episode of Mars Legacy. Now, as you guys just saw, Callie just completed another book and went ahead and published it. She's trying to get these books out because the Mars are a little tight on cash at the moment. They, We are adopting another child at this part. You guys have voted and we are in fact adopting a boy today unfortunately i've been outvoted i really wanted a girl but hey the people have spoken so we're gonna go with it first thing first let's get the house a little bit in order get the twins take care of the twins a little bit I'm gonna have naveen mostly take care of the twins and niklaus and candy are already at school and once everything is good, I think it's the perfect time to go ahead and adopt the eighth member of the Mars family. Can't believe we're finally here. It's been a long, long time coming. After this, all we have to do is get the house completely decked out and get the Mars financials up because Naveen is nowhere near completing his aspiration, which is to be fabulously wealthy. But we can focus more on that once all these children are good and grown. <laughs> or at least here. And I'm just having Kent, Callie go ahead and make some breakfast. Have a little breakfast ready just in case he's hungry. I don't know what kind of state he's going to be in when we get him. All right, breakfast is done. The house is looking clean. Babies are somewhat taken care of. Let's go ahead and have them both all get some food before we add another member to the gang. It's gonna be a task and a half trying to juggle all these different storylines, trying to keep them all, give them all their shine so you guys can vote on your fave for next season. But officially, all five children are in the running for to be the next be to be the next founder after this part. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight to it. Let's go ahead and go to the phone and go to call adoption agency. Put pet up for adoption. Definitely not. Uh, adopt a child for a thousand dollars so yes all we were gonna be flat broke 
after this we also have to decorate our new sun's room so the mars are gonna be a little down bad after this part let's see we're looking for a child who is male those are the two criteria okay i see some children but they're girls i think author was a boy but i'm not sure can't really see the sex okay so He is definitely a child in a boy. Jaden is definitely a boy and a child. And Arthur is probably a boy too, but it's hard to tell. So I think I'm just for, for there's only two boy children. So for this to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and adopt Jaden. And I am going to let his name stay Jaden, even though we're doing the end thing for the boys. I don't believe in completely erasing a child when you adopt them. So he's going to stay. His first name is going to stay Jaden, but I am going to give him a middle name. That's going to start with an N. Just so he won't feel, you know, left out from the family or anything like that. I want him to feel as included as possible into the Mars family. He will have our last name though. I think they automatically do that with adoption. Like they automatically come with their last name changed. And let's go ahead and feed the cat. Let's go let's just do as much having to be do as much as possible to um, take care of the house. I was going to have him empty the storage, but then I ever thought that the maid would probably do it. And give Smokey some pets. Give him some rubs. He want the rubs. Okay, Callie is adopting. It should be popping up any second. Jaden. Okay, we're gonna leave his name as Jaden, and we're just gonna add a middle name. And his middle name is gonna be I was thinking about Nate, but then I decided that was too simple compared to everybody else's name, so I decided to go with Nathan. I was thinking about Nathaniel, but then I thought that would be too long. Jaden, Nathaniel, Mars, too long. So, Jaden, Nathan, Jaden, Nathan, Mars. I feel like that flows very well. And let's see what he looks like. I think he's super handsome. I do like the blonde. I think I'm going to, instead of it being a natural blonde, I think I'm going to make it look more like a dye job. Kind of like he dyed his hair before he um, came to us. Let's go ahead and go straight into Cass and give him a bit of a makeover. All right, as y'all know, I usually play music with Cass stuff, but I wanted to talk about Jaden a little bit. So as you guys can see, he is artistic and athletic so far. I didn't want to change those things because, and I didn't want to change his core feature features, like his nose shape. I didn't want to change the shape of anything. I might go back and add a skin overlay because I, I couldn't do it because I didn't have Creative Sim all the way open. But I may go back and add a skin overlay to him. But I didn't want to change his core features. Didn't want to change his structure. Didn't want to change his eye color or his hair color. I just wanted to make it look, you know, more like a dye job. And I think I, this is really nice. And he has some hair, so I'm going to let him keep his hair. I think this hair is super cute on him. And for his style, this is the shirt he already had on when he came. So I just styled this shirt. And for a couple of his outfits, I go off of something that he's already wearing and um, just changing one or two things for each fit. So that way he can pretty much keep his signature look. We, the Mars haven't, you know, yet changed his wardrobe, but I wanted him to at least be matching, matchy match. I am giving him a purple fit because that is going to come in handy with the Easter episode that's about to happen next week. And 
yeah uh, like I was saying he already is um, artistic so he's an art prodigy so with that inspiration you can go down either the painter route or the music route I think I'm gonna do the music because we're already doing the painting with with um, candy and I figure with the music route there's so many different routes he could go you know obviously starting as a kid he can only do piano or violin but as he gets older maybe he can get into the mixing or stay with the piano or whatever as far as, or guitar and then the twins they can do different instruments or different or they could do singing or they could do dancing so i just feel like with the music is more versatile whereas for the art it's just mainly just painting but there's also knitting i guess there's there's versatility either way but i wanted to lean into the music with him that's just the vibe i was getting from him when i was creating him and when i was giving him his little makeover all right so we're back in game and i'm having Jaden and candy and kelly in a group so they're going to go ahead and should i call him Jaden or should i call him nathan just so you know stay with the ends call him by his middle name a lot of people in my family go by their middle name oh he likes affection we can definitely be affection with him affectionate with him a lot of people in my family go by their middle names so i thought that might be cute to do just so he can have an in or we can call him Jaden. let me leave a comment down below should we call him Jaden or should we call him nathan i probably or should we call him in jan nj sound better i don't know think of a nickname for Jaden, or we can call him nathan or we can call him Jaden. let me know so Callie is just basically giving him a tour of the house this is his first time coming in so you gotta think he's like probably like it's just taking it all in i don't know where he we don't quite know where he's from just yet he hasn't opened up about that we're gonna be slow to um talk to him about things and not put too much pressure on him to open up with everything right away we know we know a bit from what the adoption agency would let us know his parents have passed on and an accident and he didn't have a bad life before he got here not at all so i don't want you guys to think that but it is going to be an adjustment he is gonna you know he was an only child and now he's joining a household with lots of children so it's definitely going to be an adjustment now next let's go ahead and take him to the backyard because i imagine he saw it through the glass and he was very excited to get back here because while his family was you know they lived a pretty modest life but it, th there was no reason for the house to be this big the yard to be this big you know there was just three of them and they lived happily naveen is going to work so Jaden will have to meet him officially when he gets back from work Jaden is just in awe of the yard. He sees the the slide, the slip and slide, the tree house, and it, it just look, all looks so cool. Uh, tell the teacher. I was going to have them go into the kids' room, but then I decided I'll wait till the kids come home, respect their privacy. But I will go ahead and show them where his bathroom is. My cat is upset. I think he's just upset because of the rain because I do try to comfort him throughout the episode and he just pretty much stays orange this whole episode because it does rain pretty much this entire part. Alright, so we show him the bathroom and now let's show him the garage. This is where um, Naveen is going to be working. I don't know what he's going to call them so far. I think right now he's just calling them by their first names. I don't think he's going to be calling them mom and dad just yet. Maybe he's calling them, you know, Mr. Naveen and Miss Callie. And Callie's like, you don't have to be so formal. You can just call me Callie. And he's like, mm, Miss Callie for now. It's good for me. <laughs> 
So I was trying to decide here which room I should give him. I feel like the twins room is the biggest room, but I also feel like they're all three the same size. They just have different shapes. I don't know. But the twins, I want them to be together in the larger room until they, pretty much until they age up as teenagers, then I'll probably separate them. So I'm just gonna leave them where they are. But let's go ahead and have Jaden see his new room. It's not painted, it's not nothing where, I was waiting for him to get here. And now that he is here, let's go ahead and enter Cas and do a little, little, just a little decorations. We don't have much money at all. We'll do more when Naveen gets off, but let's see what we can do for what we have right now. With keeping in mind, he will be a musically inclined sim. And 
for the final touch, I would do want to go ahead and add a picture. And I thought this picture can represent his parents passing. You know, maybe that's the last picture he was able to grab before he had to leave. And this bag on the floor, that's his clothes that he was able to grab. But he doesn't quite have a dresser yet. He doesn't have much in his room yet. Like I said, we are fresh out of money. And so when Naveen comes home, we'll continue doing some renovations to his room this part. But until he comes home, we'll just go ahead and call it for now. Let's go ahead and have him open these fruit snacks and take one out. I do have him a piano right here let's go ahead and have him practice a little bit on it see how if he even likes the piano um he also needs to paint draw two pictures while inspired and we'll definitely get him to do that at some point we'll definitely work on his aspiration he is younger than the klaus technically so but I thought the room, and it's not done, nowhere near done. We're going to decorate it some more, this part. But I feel like the room should be a little bit more mature than the Klaus is because he's just been through a, quite a bit. And that losing your parents can definitely make you grow up quick. He's probably been in a group home for maybe like a year or so. So he's definitely grown up more mature, um, mentally than Niklaus who is I don't want to say spoiled but he's definitely not hurting for anything speaking of Niklaus let me go ahead and change his aspiration to another one just I don't know that we're going to actually like try to make him complete it but I figure what's to hurt and at least changing it to it because who knows yeah. He, he may just bust it out again. He has quite a few reward points. But honestly, I can't think of any of these that would be like useful to Niklaus. If you have an idea of any that would be useful for him, please let me know. I was thinking about maybe, um, maybe Morning Sim could be helpful for him in the future. The idea of the Let's Play that I have for him. Which I'm not going to share just yet. I will share in the, you know, let everybody get aged up to teenagers first before we start telling people's stories. I know the pacing is a little bit slow, but I was told you guys love the pacing, so we're going to keep it going here. I ain't going to rush the story. The class has to use the bathroom, and we also have Candy here, who is going to meet her new brother. It's definitely an adjustment for everybody. They knew that he was going to be that they they were that they were getting a new sibling today, a new brother specifically today. Nicholas is very excited to have a brother, a little brother at that. But I think Nicholas is going to find that you know he's not he's not a little brother who needs a whole lot of watching. You know he does he's not interested in doing the scouts. Um, he's not a nature boy like Niklaus is a nature boy so they're not ex they, they don't have too much in common but boys will be boys and they they're gonna get along just fine I think ooh with summer time coming up spring is almost done it's almost summer I definitely definitely want the kids to do a lemonade stand maybe we'll do one this weekend coming up next part before Easter. I do want to do Easter next part. But maybe before or after Easter, I'll have the kids do a lemonade stand. I think that'll be <laughs> really cute. I just want to do it before Candy ages up. Maybe not next part. Okay, maybe, I don't know. Before Candy ages up to a teenager, I definitely am going to make them do a lemonade stand. I just think that's so cute. With the three of them running it, super cute. Maybe the twins out there just being mascots. Here's where I realized just how broke, how much money I spent on the room. Because I cannot buy, cook a darn thing. I was thinking I'm going to make this nice meal 
for him on his first day, show off Callie's cooking skills to him, and she can't cook a darn thing except for like single meals. So we're gonna definitely have to wait till Klaus gets home to cook because he's gonna come home with some money. So for, for now, let's just take care of our babies. Their needs are a little low. People are hungry, people need baths. And meanwhile, Callie is sleeping in the tub. I didn't even realize she was sleeping in this tub. <laughs> Looks like Candy and Nathan are getting along very well, which I imagine that they would. They have a lot of common, both, you know, artistic. The twins are gonna be artistic as well, but they're, you know, music lovers. They're, they're gonna have the most in common, I think, with Nathan especially and they'll be in the household the longest with them so they'll get to bond with him a lot more than everybody else like Candy is pretty much on her way out she's 10 days away from being a teenager crazy I give it two more parts there definitely will be some time skips but next part we're gonna skip straight to Easter and then the part after that will be celebrating Candy's birthday super excited for that so there's definitely an age gap between Candy and Jaden. I'm going to use the name interchangeably. So, Jaden Nathan. Should I just say his whole name like that? Like Ruby Rose type of thing? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Candy actually has even more war parts, points than Nicklaus. And honestly, this creative visionary I think is useful to her right now because she. When she ages up, she will be doing a lot of easel paintings, and I cannot wait. I have the Paint It Up mod, which I believe is the mod that gives you better, like, different types of paints. Oh, no, that's the mod that makes it faster. I have a mod that, like, lets you have, like, more painting options, and they're, like, black pro black paintings and I just can't wait to showcase those I've really been waiting to showcase that mod since I started this let's play since I decided Candy was going to be doing painting really and she was probably a toddler when I decided that <laughs> anyways while we wait for Naveen to get home so we can feed these children let's go ahead and give Khalees a bath he's just over here drawing which I imagine he's going to use borrow Candy's our easel quite a bit I don't think I'm gonna be putting one in his room just I don't want to clutter up his room I may put one in his room um, when candy ages up I may just move the art the coloring thing from candy's room to his room or maybe we'll just get him his own we'll see what the money is looking like and Let's just check him out. He has some skills already. He has, he's a C student. He has some skills. Um, he had knitting. It's interesting. And then these are the fruit snacks. Let's go ahead and let him eat one. His knees are all pretty good. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find his age. Okay, there it is. Yes, he's way younger than Niklaus. He has 54 days to age up. Niklaus has 34. So he's a whole 20 days younger than Niklaus. So he's slap dab in between the twins and Niklaus. Which I think is perfect works just fine he the only milestone he has is being adopted which makes me a little bit sad almost like we can say it was almost like a trauma response that he's not um really thinking about everything but also he's young so he's 54 days so he basically just aged up into a child maybe last year and he's been in a group home for the last past year so it makes sense that he hasn't hit too many milestones now I'm gonna let him go ahead and take a bit of a relax until Naveen gets home he should be in the home soon 
this will be a bit of a shorter part I just was excited to add him to the family and get the Mars all go all getting going them going right here I'm just trying to you know help out Smokey a bit I'm trying to see why she's orange I don't want her to run away so like this might be the only pet I've ever had who like has not run away one time the entire let's play so I want to keep that up and what was I saying oh yeah I've been excited to go ahead and play and then get him adopted especially since you guys outvoted me okay there knuckles Naveen that's perfect he brought home a good amount of change so let's go ahead and have Callie cook some dinner and then we'll get working back on Jaden's room Jaden Jn. it almost fits too good I don't know I'm overthinking it but yes, I am kind of recording this last minute because I have been working on things for my bridal shower all week. I will have an episode next week, but the week after my bridal shower, I won't have an episode because I won't, I, I really won't be going back home between next weekend and the Between the 4th and the 10th, I'm going to be out of town, pretty much. So there won't be an episode that week, but there will be one next week. So you guys will get to enjoy Easter before I go in my bridal shower. If, if, I, if I have enough time, if I had just find myself have extra time, which I don't think I will because I'm going to be doing a lot of bunch of last minute stuff for the bridal shower I will do probably a cast video of like bridal shower inspiration outfits that'll be a cute little lookbook thing to do so we might do that and then maybe I'll have that go out the week that I can't record Mars Legacy just so you guys can have something but I can't promise that I'm gonna get that done because I, cause I don't know how much time I'm gonna have next week barely had time to record this this week so now Jaden is meeting Naveen I know Naveen is tired but I really want them to new family dynamic supportive Oh, Naveen is the first person that gets a supportive, you know, gets a um, family dynamic with Jaden, which is really sweet. You know, you know, Callie was the one that went and picked him up, but you know, clearly Naveen is the favorite already, which is fine. You know, boys going to bond. Boys are always going to bond. So <laughs> I guess. I'll let it be but let's go ahead and get straight into cast one more time and see what we can do to this room I just want to elevate it a little bit better this is a little plain and I like to go all out for my children's rooms and his is going to be no different and badness combination yeah hey Grr. on morning side got no stick in a ride if i take flicks with the guys i gotta put emojis over like three faces because the feds can't see those eyes people i shouldn't be beside when i was an actor they would go strapper just to sell food on bieber's side plenty reasons why i'm this way my girl that's just one reason why i've seen you around that so throw it up man baby you love all some media guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys. You know I'm like six foot two and I write shoe love, but you love all some medium guys. I wanna keep you on the beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seen you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, think about entry, know you could tell us a decent size. 
You wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside. If Chokes has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside. But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes. You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died. I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes. I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice, you never get treated nice. Fool you once, that's fine, but you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice. 200 mil on the table, I hope I'm able to get this agreement signed. Told you I needed time, but really the truth is I don't believe in time. Feel like I've been here over a thousand years, like since the medieval times. And I'm still just a cutthroat king, even though this is recent times. A man my dad that we're beefing with, but we don't do grieving time. Fuck teasing time, if I come inside you, it's breathing time. So much for idols, KMT with a high roll. Knew that I made it when I had drivers holding my last name up in arrivals. Sense my knee vaccine when he see how this bitch start going viral. If leaders dead and the masters dead with brains in there like silos. The morning rain clouds up my window, I swear I feel like Dido. J-A-U-M, how looks when man put you in a jam like typos. Negotiation asset for 20% of the company, that's my final. Realistic to shit my M15 like I'm going through Tottenham High Road. If it's beef, I get that shade for bread and grease like I'm making gyros. Or I'm making gyros. So much for all these heroes. The numbers are good with me as long as it's comma to zero, 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 zero. Pass me a glass of the vino. If a girl try to take my Rolex, to buy some Valentino. I tell baby M what she did to the kid that eyeliner like emo. She didn't rock my clothing line when we had one shirt to go with the jeans though. Now a man like me and Clint can afford those with like Gran Torino. Grrr. Crocodile tissue ain't even crying. Why you swearing to God? You don't even believe in Christ. What you saying, what law are you for? You ain't been on your team, you been eating swine. Nah, I ain't a man of your dreams. Now you wish that you stay with your previous guy. They used to be 3.5s. Now I can sell out the old to arena twice. Don't ask what the fee looks like. Don't believe all the media hype. Like 80% of these people lying. Who can I ask when I need advice? I gotta work hard, this new provides. Email white bees for the feature. Look, what goes up must come down. So when you're in the air, prepare for the landing. I did everything that I could for my hood. So how did they say I don't care for the man? The crib's so big, I might get out of breath if I walk too quick up the stairs in a mansion. They weren't there for the action. Tryna round up three on the spot and we're going to war, but we ain't in Africa. Everything won't go to plan, that's not how it goes. I'm afraid shit happen. Rap boy on a footballer's wage, I'm on the same pay as the players at Dallas. What's making the haters jealous? I think of the AP's 18 carats. They call me my government name in Harris. Uh, this one ratchet, don't even know who I pay me, daddy. Uh, if I come inside, then I won't leave till I see I take the tablet. No. He mentioned my name because he wanted some fame and he ain't established. <laughs> Alright, you know the verse don't hit when you hear that ad lib From a long way I was selling them open on my lowly but I'm not Ken Carson I'm a hood red heart red dot on my head and my hood on my target So drive I'll stay in a whip while I jump out quick don't park it I can lean out the window and horn it I'm on the same pay as the players at Charlotte Big fish in this thing no armbands like a batch go past women and shot them Drop me in a jungle tree to tree start swinging like Tarzan 24 inch on the rims on the bends I'm doing donuts and skidding on tarmac <laughs> Sick of these high rise buildings flip the script now I'm living on farmland Yes, so please let me know what you guys think of the room. I ran out of money again. The room is still not finished. Every time we get a you know, good little lump sum, I'm going to upgrade his room a bit, bit, bit more. I still want to get him a dresser. I want to get him more toys because he is a child. I did upgrade his piano in his bed. I thought these were a lot cuter. And his room was looking really dark. And I know I said he's a little bit more mature. But I don't want him to be getting depressed up in there. So we needed a little bit more, you know, a light colored furniture over the dark color. I did add a toy box. I moved his parents' pictures. Got him a timer so he can, you know, stay on key. And with time, with the practice in here, I am just testing everything. Making sure the bed works. Making sure the piano works. Cause these are this is called some content that I haven't used yet, so I just want to make sure it actually worked, and it does. Go ahead and play us something. Very good, very good. Go ahead and stop. <laughs> so 
So now I'm just um, about to get everybody. Callie is about done with dinner. So I'm about to have everybody steady sit. And we're going to get everybody seated. And we're going to go ahead and end the part. Okay, so the twins are, you know, doing their thing. They are, I've gotten them both fed and they're eating. There's no high chairs anymore because I couldn't get the high chairs to work in my game, as you guys know. But this is their first meal as a little family, a new little family. And they're just talking. It's just so super cute to see him interact with his new siblings. I'm definitely going to use this as a thumbnail so you guys can like wonder who is this new guest at the dinner table. He definitely stands out with that blonde hair. <laughs> but I think it's super cute and different. And I'm probably going to let him keep the blonde hair throughout the whole let's play. I don't see why not. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of Jaden Nathan. Let me know what you guys if we should call him Nathan or if we should call him Jaden or should we give him a nickname let me know what you guys think of his room but not too much on his room because like I said it is a work in progress we go you know add to it add to it add to it next part we will be having Easter so be prepared for that it's gonna be a lot of a lot a lot of cinematics I got it all planned out in my head now it's gonna look as good as it do in my head we're gonna find out <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And oh, thank you guys for everybody who voted in the poll I put up. I do appreciate you guys being active members of the community. You guys make this game more fun for me to play. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Peace, love, and hair grease. Bye.